And uh, it, it's, a, it's a little bit different than some of the other groups that have had to bring in some of the um, uh, agencies to kind of uh, get off the ground and work together. We as a bomb squad, we're a regional response and we work with all our partners year round. So we work with Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, the State Fire Marshal's Office, and we cover, uh, depending on who you talk to, between six and nine counties for the uh, EOD response. Tampa covers the municipalities and Hillsborough County covers the unincorporated areas for response. So right off the bat with this event, we're, we come in kind of what we feel is a little bit ahead of the game because we're already working almost as one. Now we will be bringing in um, technicians from around the country and we've been uh, training for about two years now, bringing in some of the other, uh, other agencies into the area and integrating with our canine units. For the, uh, for the event that we have coming up, we kind of we have two roles. We have prevention and response. Prevention is working with the canines, and uh, a lot of people will see us out there doing sweeps and checking the venues and the, uh, the areas to just kind of make sure that we don't have any hazardous materials or anything that's going to cause harm out there or present danger. And that's where uh, Sergeant Patrick's going to uh, talk to you about it in just a second uh, with some of our canines and the sweeps. Felicia Pecora, one of our corporals with our bomb team, she's going to uh, tell you about some of the uh, equipment here real quick. And we'll try to kind of run through this as quick as possible. Felicia? You can tell this is our robot. This is one of our best friends here. We try to use this on every call because the robot has no fear of anything. Um, this is actually a mock-up that um, one of our techs made uh, of a device that was actually used. Something like this. I really don't want to stand over. Nobody wants to stand over it. This guy doesn't care. He'll go up, it has two cameras that are full color, we can zoom in. We can zoom in on a battery and get a UPC code, call up Walmart and say, anybody buy this recently? There's all kinds of um, investigative stuff we can do with it. It's got a speaker um, so we can talk. It's got um, the ability to hear and we operate it from a nice air conditioned truck or van that's way far away. <laughs> and there's a little cup holder for the coffee, so we're all set. <laughs> um, another tool we use is this is our bomb suit. This is my bomb suit. It's the only one light enough to probably hang up there. It's 85 pounds. Oh. <laughs> These guys are a little bit bigger than me. Theirs are probably about 95 pounds. And we have some that are a little bit bigger, probably 100 pounds. Mine's small. This is kind of a search suit. Um, but even our little search suit where we kind of check an area, we're, we're still loaded up with a ballistic kind of a seal here. This is similar, it's it's really a ballistic vest times 10. This would be a ballistic vest times 100. Um, and then in some environments, we have to operate as a hazmat environment where there may be a chemical or biological um, hazard. We'll suit up, put this bad guy on, we'll suit up, put this on, and then a Tyvek suit over that, go in and see what we can do about that. It takes about six weeks to go through our our um, bomb school and we get to try all this equipment out um, and then usually in July in Alabama so <laughs> that's how we stay so good. Again our our team we have uh, 12 technicians on our team Hillsborough County I think uh, Jimmy you guys have 10 12 technicians on your team uh, we work and we train together all the time uh, it's, it's a great partnership and we've had that even well before the uh, the RNC was uh, coming together. So that, that's one of the greatest things about our unit. We all train at the, whether if you're a technician in Seattle or you're a technician here in Tampa, you train at the same school in Alabama through the FBI and the Army. So we send our technicians there for six weeks to train and then there's additional training that goes on top of that. So we, we cover um, hazardous incidents uh, above the wall or uh, uh, on land in the maritime environments with uh, vessels underwater. So I mean we're pretty diverse and it's uh, it's a pretty good pretty good uh, good team that we have. Jerry, you want to talk about your canine? Yep. Pretty much everything that you'll see the EOD teams doing, we're going to have two canines assigned to those EOD teams. And mostly what you'll see us doing is just walking around perimeters of, of areas of special security just kind of being an extra set of eyes and ears. The dogs will just be sniffing around. You know, most of them are very friendly and approachable, but you'll just see them walking to the inside of venues, probably uh, doing some motorcades and things like that. We have in excess of 60 teams from the local, state, and federal level, and then the military is also bringing in about 100 dogs. So 
there'll uh, there'll be about 160 to 180 teams. Um, the hours of training for us is just almost countless. We we train every day, all the time, and we've just added more training to to our days. So um, I think you're going to see us out there quite a bit. You know, most of all, it's all prevention. Thank you. Um, that was Sergeant Patrick of the K9 Unit. Um, next up, we have Sergeant Rich Mills.